everybody in <laughs> TV land. That's right. Welcome to the Merry Boozers RC channel. Yeah, baby. Always wonderful to have you guys. It's another beautiful day. Me and Papa have been out flying all day. Oh, man. We came back and me and Lori had a power nap and then uh, onward to showtime again. So good to be here. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Got to fly a lot of airplanes. It's always a great time and flew with their buddies. That's the next goal. So, uh, yeah, me and Crash, Mr. Kevin Farrows, and Papa all went to try a new RC club today. We really enjoyed it. It's called yep. Lark's RC Club. It's in uh, Eustis, Florida, just outside of the seaport there. Traveris. 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 Excuse me, not Traveris. Eustis. Close. Traveris. They're all together. Yeah, they're all together, but... Uh, we really had a great time out there. They've got a 500 foot Geotex, not paved, but one of the smoothest Geotex runways I've ever seen. It, it looked like the- almost is like no. Yeah, it's it almost like the runway at, No, I think no is more of a rubbery mat, but this is really a thick Geotex, just a beautiful sculpture. Uh, field. Yep. Okay. Nope. I guess. Okay. Was, good. Was, was anyway, good. we were just double checking to make sure y'all could hear us, but it looks like y'all wouldn't can. be the boozer channel if, if we, we didn't, didn't have, have a microphone issue. problem. Although lately we've been doing really well with the microphone, and I think everybody can hear you now. Good. So we got good. the new microphone. Good. Good. I, I, um, I invested a lot of money in that microphone. He did. So you guys could hear my wonderful voice. So anyway, but, guys, it, it we really enjoyed the new club. Yep. Papa got to fly his uh, new Corsair. Well, you didn't fly it. I flew it. You got to see it fly, at least. No, 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 I didn't fly it. I wanted him to, but he just didn't want to do it today. I get, well, after we, you know, after we did everything we did, I, I can't remember everything. But tell them what You we, did fly the Marlin, though. I did fly the Marlin. And what were your uh, thoughts on the Marlin? It's a, it would be a wonderful first jet. Yep. It's not a speedster, but it's 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 a great, easy jet. If I can fly it, anybody can fly it. But, and, and I could stay. It's not like, you know, I'm getting a little bit old, but some of those jets can get out. I can't, I don't stay out in front of them. But this one, I could do it's that. It's slow enough you can keep yeah, up. Yeah, it, yeah. And, and you've dumped the flaps it, on know, it, it'll fly like it's a, a it, it's a It's a tough little airplane. Yeah. Uh, I can see you. Being the first jet that you're going to dink the wings and you're going to do things like it's that. Like but it, 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 it's like an angel's It's uh, it's uh, you know it's just a real good first jet. That's yeah. all I can tell you. You know yeah. you know you don't have no retracts or anything. It's it's just out there. But it, it you know I, hopefully we'll get the video up so you guys can see. Yeah, we'll see get it up eventually. soon enough. Um, but what did we do today? We did that. We flew the HSD Super Viper today. Yep, yep, we got three flights on the HSD Super Viper. Uh, I know some of you guys have been curious about that. I put two flights on it, the Maiden, and then just kind of a shakedown flight. Made sure the gyro was working good for Kevin. Uh, I flew it with and without the gyro. Uh, the gyro definitely, that Cortex gyro he put in there. It's money. It's awesome. Uh, uh, the, it's the expensive, thing, but it's a good gyro. The thing that impressed me about the jet is it don't want to come down. I mean, it just floats forever. I mean, it's a, just a, you turn the power off, it's like a glider. Oh man, yeah, that, that HSD Super Viper flies extremely slow. It's like a really big Avanti. For yep, guys that yep. have flown Avantis, that's, that's, a, very that's good, a lot like That's a like. very good way to look at it. Look at that. Craig, Greg C., thanks for joining the us well, at Lark's RC well, today. Hey, I'm glad good. you're in here. I hope yeah, you're enjoying Greg. the show. Uh, we are becoming full members out there. We've got to give our paperwork in and our money. But we are going to fully join. Well, it's not 100%. They still got to vote on us. They got to vote on us, but I have a feeling yeah, they're going to yeah, let yeah, the boozers yeah, in yeah, as the Lark's RC field. So... Hopefully you're going to be seeing a lot more filming coming from it's out a, there. It's, a, it, it's built on a dump, but man, guys, I yeah, mean, it's, it's like being not to say that in a bad way. It's no, an old dump that they, you know, filled on. everything in, and then they let the RC club put a runway on top of the the hill. I mean, it's on top of a mountain. Mountain, yeah, and it's got I mean, these little pipes everywhere that are letting the gas yeah, out from it. But, yeah, but man, it makes a beautiful flying sight because yeah. you're on top of a huge hill and there's no trees and nothing, nothing. for as far as you can see. So and, it's a great place but, but to fly. It's like you're sitting on top of an aircraft carrier. Oh right? yeah, yeah. I mean, everything drops off. And yeah, to get up there, you drive up a big mountain to get up to it. Yeah, it's kind of neat. neat. Yeah, and then uh, the runway's laid out really nice. It's it's right down the predominant wind. Uh, 
Well, hey, I had a great time. I we got to see some real turbines fly today. Yeah, I met a guy today that was interested in maybe having mm -hmm. some turbines on the channel with us, just so to, that would be neat. Just to show you guys the workings right. of Right, some of the other stuff. I, you know, I've always been, I've been around them since 2000, but I never was interested enough to go, okay, how does this thing work? I looked at it and go, oh, no, I'm the rat's it, head. Yeah, I, I'm interested to see it, and, and you guys that have been following us, you see up here, since last week, this has jumped up almost a hundred subscribers for you guys that are following. I was it. looking up there on the wall. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> what is that? I'm looking. Where is TV it? magic? It's oh, here, okay, Dad. Okay, see it? It. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, in about a week, guys, we're gonna just do this for fun every week and have it up there for a little bit. You know, and I'm not gonna say it's gonna be up there every week all the time. But for fun, in a week, we've almost jumped 100 subscribers. So thank y'all very much. Don't forget it. 2,000 subscribers. We're going to do some kind of giveaway. Yeah, we haven't 100% decided what it's going to be yet. But there will be something. Uh, as as a FYI, there is Let's something coming. Hi, Hal Rufner. Great to see you here. Steve Coggins. I mean, we're all Dennis Farley, Michael. We're all Farmer... Farmer Man, great to see you in here. I mean, y'all are all of our old regulars. Uh, Fred Barron, you're the best, man. Uh, you, you are, uh, you're always the... So I've heard somebody saying, Farmer Rose is saying that the volume is quiet. Is that for everybody or just for him? If y'all could just mention to us good or bad on the, on the sound. This is only our second time using the new setup with the new microphone above us. To so say good or bad, if you if you're liking the way the the volume sounds, but um, anyway, we really enjoyed the new flying field. Uh, we joined up with those guys. I'm really looking forward to what's to come. Uh, we're going to be at a bigger club. It'll be really fun to get some well, of the I, other I guys. I really in. believe that the club and the bo boozers can help each other. We're we, we're not going to go in there and try to run the club in no way or fashion. We're going to be just we're going to try to be. Good just good uh, people in the club. Good volume, uh, I got it. But we know that down the line, the larger we get, the more that we need a club that could support, support us. And, in and place. I'm still a member of the band of Buzzards, and mm -hmm. from time to time, you'll see videos from out there when it's convenient for me to go a mile up the street to go mm -hmm. film versus 30 miles to go to the other club. It, it, there's still times that I want to film out there, but it, it definitely is nice to be a member of a larger club. You know, there was oh, okay, gosh, Farmer, 20 guys out there flying today. So, yeah. Yeah. Farmer Man, what are you going to be unboxing on Friday? <laughs> the same thing we are? Guess what I'm unboxing. Yeah, he's probably yes. unboxing the same, same thing. thing. <laughs> or he might be Sorry. doing the new uh, E-Flight F-18, which hopefully we will have the E-Flight F-18 next week. I don't know what's going on with the camera. It looks like it's not as stable tonight as I'm actually moving. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy and I'm dancing. It but must have been all that beer you drink I between now and now. I don't know. You got I didn't drink any beer. Let's get oh. it right. I drank moonshine. <laughs> maybe that's why it's not moving as well. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? We but, never did uh, say, we only say that we don't drink while we're Yeah, we don't flying. drink while we're flying, but once we get in the hangar and we're uh, playing with airplanes, who knows? It might happen a little bit. Maybe, uh, maybe just a little bit. But anyway, well, guys, what do you say we start kind of opening the box and getting into this thing? I know most of you could come for the airplanes, not us, every week. But uh, look at that. I even got it the right direction yep, tonight. Got it the right How direction. the heck did that happen? I did not plan for that. Anyway, so, Lori, let's go to Top Shot and start showing the box art, telling them a little bit about what we're unboxing tonight. This is the E-Fly. So, here we go. We've got the F4 Phantom. F4 Phantom. Yep. This is, is the one that comes with the receiver in it. We did not go for the plug and play. We went for the bind and fly. Uh, and we want to say a big thank you to Kevin Farrows for providing this model to us to unbox for you guys tonight. Hello. I, I don't, he, his wife flew in this today, so I don't know if Kevin's in here. I don't know if Kevin's in here or not. He had to go pick his wife up from the airport today. But either way, we thank him greatly for letting us do this. So, guys, like I said, this is the new E-Flight. Well, it's kind of new, but it's the newer E-Flight, it's new for us, e flight F4 Phantom. We're really excited about it. Um, I've got to fly the free wing now, so it'll be really exciting to fly this and see what the differences are. Now this is the 80 millimeter jet. Yep. So it's, uh, 
But then I we, hey, do me a favor. Okay. Grab that other end and just kind of slide the box off your way. Okay. Oh wait, do we have it upside down? Hang on. I think it's I think it's upside down. Hang on. Really? Okay, sorry about that. Yep, it was. Okay, well we're gonna turn the graphics. Sorry, the graphics are the wrong way now, but the Here box is upside down. Dun, 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 dun. Do it nice and slow. And I haven't peeked in the box yet, so if anything's damaged, you're gonna find out with me. <laughs> but anyway, let me grab my knife, my trusty knife. And we're gonna start cutting our way in, guys. So it uses a 6S 22.2, 4,000 to 5,000, 30 plus. See lipo battery. Yeah, so it's a 6S bird, um, which most guys are used to by now. Most of us are flying 6S jets. Whoops, that jumped out of my hand. That's what it takes to fly. I wasn't expecting that to come off. I thought I had to cut the tape on both sides, but I didn't. Maybe Kevin has already poked into this and checked on it. Not bad. It's all good. So anyway. Let's get it going here. Do it nice and slow. Oh, look at the look, look at, at the little eagle on the landing gear. On the ground. Yeah, that's cool. So there you go, guys. I do like how they did instead of gluing the servos in, they've got these little hatches that cover it. So if you ever have to change the servo, you take these two screws out, and this little hatch is actually what holds that servo down instead of it being glued in. So it's easy to replace these. You've also got ball link everywhere on this and it looks like it's painted on the top and foam on the yeah bottom. so the white part. is going to be just bare foam it does have your ordnance rails for the ordnance to just clip in the iconic f4 kind of turned up wing tips it also does have lights on the wing tips hopefully that's they always said that the f4 was the perfect airplane that would the, the only reason it could Love fly, the panel line detail. You put enough you put enough power on it, anything can fly as far as the airframe. I always remember they saying that about the F four. Shouldn't fly, couldn't fly. It's a good looking but airplane so far. Two, two jet engines. I do on. like the wheels quite a bit too on this. Look at those wheels. Yep. Nice. Really nice. I really do like that. It's I, kind of know, a scale look at the wheels. Guys, I can tell that these people because of us and what we're doing, are really paying attention to us modelers wanting more detail in our planes. And I love that they're, they're listening that, oh, I hate taking it apart. So then they started putting the servo connectors. You know, it's not just us guys. We're talking about the modelers well, in general. But, yeah. you know, oh, it's such a pain in the butt taking these apart at the field. Yeah. Well, let's just put the servo connectors in the wing for the guys to where it's just plug and play. Look at that. So, you know, all I'm saying is that the, us, us in the RC community, with our, our evaluations really like of their products, cool. are making a difference in what they're putting out. I really can see that. I don't know if everybody else agrees with me, but I really see it. And I, I, I think with Ryan taking on what he's taking on. that uh, Yeah, I hope that he really can and do some great stuff with the Dynam guys. Um, okay, and if y'all have been watching with Ryan, I really hope he can do some great stuff. They've got some version twos coming. We're working with Ryan on some of that stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's interesting. I thought this was the flap because on the real F4, this is the aileron out here. But this is actually your aileron is here and your flap is here. Kind of an interesting setup on that. But it must work because they do it. I it, I, I How are the wheels? Are they hard? Yes, they are hard. They are. They have a little bit of give, but not a lot. They are definitely hard, but they are a rubber instead of a foam, and they are silky smooth. Look at that thing spin. I mean, Brian says, "Wait till you fly it." I'm sure with after flying the E-Flight F-16, I imagine they built this really light, and it's going to be just awesome in the air, just like that was the E-Flight F-16. Is one of my favorite airplanes well, right now. Man, he's again about the wheels. He said, "How are the wheels? Are they like the Viper hard or stiff? That's the or same do stuff they have too. some squeezy to them?" There's not much squeezy to these guys on the wheels. They're they're very. 
they're very hard. Um, but they are actually rubber from the feel of it and not a foam wheel. And then they have a very detailed uh, rim to them. I really like the look of it. They even put the little rivets in there if you can see it. Good looking wheel. But yeah, it's not, they're not suspension struts, I don't think either. I don't know until I get it open. And I, I kind of want to try and plug these in because it's this airplane. Sorry. This airplane doesn't glue together as far as I know. It's all screwed together. So we might be able to get it put together tonight right on the show too. But anyway, no, 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 there's no, the no, wing. No, no, no. I, I watched uh, Pilot Ryan last night. They stuck that together pretty fast. Yeah, I well, know you know, teamwork, teamwork. Who knows? He's got, he's got me for a few years. Here, set those over there. So I just took this out. Okay. Um, so the spar for the wing looks like it is not carbon. It's going to be a fiberglass spar. So there you go. There's your wing spar, and then, like I said, it is a fiberglass wing spar, not a carbon spar. Nose cone. Hard plastic, plastic on the nose. tip. Foam back here. Magnetic. So it is a replaceable nose cone. Like we said, it is plastic up here on the nose. Sorry, get it in the middle of the shot. There it is. Give you that as good as I can. No carbon rod. No farmer dogs. This is a, uh, Lori just kicked the heck out of the door, or the, the desk. Like I said, this is a fiberglass carb, uh, spar, not yeah, carbon, but I uh, can't talk. Yeah, that's a fiberglass spar. Yeah. Which is still going to be plenty tough, I'm sure. Um, let's get over here. This should be our tail. I like that they painted the bottom of the tail. Painted both sides of this one. Yep, you got the plastic receiver points. Spar going through the tail, and it should already be in there. Yes, the spar is already in there. You can see it in those little holes. So there is a spar that goes right through there. Okay. I think so. There it is. Yes. Yeah. See it? There's a part right in there. Oh, okay. Anyway. Nice little silver accents on that. So this is a full flying stab. It is a full flying stab on this. There's a drop tank. Meow. That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> what? Dreamer. What happened? <laughs> There's the other drop tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lori's over there like, oh my gosh. Yeah, he have to do that. Maybe. Keep him away from the moonshine next time. Oh, we're having fun tonight. Our guys thought it was hilarious. Don't let them lie, do you? Here's our rockets. Yeah, I think it is. It's just a single rod for the wing unless we yep. get into something Yeah, I think else. that's it. Here's the other rockets for the wings. You guys can see them. Yeah, I like the graphics they picked out. I do. Them. I like them too. Uh, one thing I don't like on the E-Flight stuff lately is the interior cockpit, which we'll get to it in here in a minute. What? You can see Sally right by your feet. Oh, yeah. can you see the little dog right now? Yeah. Hey, little dog, look at this little dog. Here you go. Move this over. See the little dog? We're babysitting. Here's the uh, tail. I do like the graphics a lot. That red on black, I mean, it really pops out. It looks pretty. You get all the little scale bits, the antennas and things that we've all come to be kind of used to now. We, we're getting spoiled. <clears throat> what does that say? Ra Raging Cajuns. Okay, Raging all right. Cajuns. Must Raging Cajuns. Must be for Louisiana. Louisiana. Else. On the bayou. Bayou. Let's see. I think we're down to the last bit. Um, if you'll help me lift this out. Let's see. Is that everything in the box? Mm -hmm. Nope, nope. There's another. Sorry, I missed the drop. Okay. How many of those do they have? Um, and destructions. I think turn it over upside down, make sure there's nothing in the bottom of the box. I think we got everything now. 
Y'all don't want to see this last part, right? I mean, everybody knows what that looks like. I'm just kidding. So, like I was saying a second ago, the one thing that I wish they would have done is give you two pilots in this kit. So, well, I should say airplane. It's not a kit. It's ready to go. But they give you the one pilot. And you don't have the Rio on the back of it. But it's a little thing. Let me give you the slow here. It is a pretty airplane, though, and I, I do like the paint job. At 100 miles an hour, you can't see that. That's right. At 100 miles an hour, it don't matter. All the little rivets and stuff, but it is a good-looking airplane. And I like this is plastic. And it's Kerry Allen says he got like he deal. got it for 200 bucks. Hey, that's a heck of a deal on this. So just to be that come up, how much is this airplane? Uh, Laura, you got that ready? Uh, hey, Everybody wants to know. My bad. Okay. We'll have that up there to show Lori you. Lori forgot to get that ready, but we're getting show it ready right now. We won't the forget. product. Oh, she's got it ready. The product page. Okay, pop it up, Lori. Here's the product page, guys, so you can see the price. Ta da! There you go. Hey, hey, there you go, guys. If you were curious how much this airplane is, there it is. Well, I can't read it either. Four, four or something. Four nineteen ninety nine. There you go. You got two hundred bucks was a heck of a deal, wasn't it? Two hundred bucks was a heck of a deal. That's right. Nobody didn't like it, did they? I'm excited to try it. Hopefully at Lark's RC Field next weekend, huh? <laughs> I hope I didn't put that up to where they can't see. Oh, they can still see me. Good. I keep forgetting the mic or the camera's way up there. Yeah. Uh, is it an Innie or an Audi? Let's I think it's an Innie. In runner. There you go. Lori's on the product runner. page right now as we so speak. So everybody answers that question. You already know it flies on uh, 6S. 6S, 5,000 or 4,000 or 5,000. I like it. It's a good looking airplane. Uh, I really do. Got a full flying stab. And like this I said, I think I'm going to just cool. kind of, ooh, I don't like that. I'm going to just piece it together real quick just so guys can see it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go on and put the whole thing, like screw it together tonight, but just for giggles. Oh, that don't go in there like that. Giggles and giggles. It goes something like this. Let me just kind of key this all together real quick. <laughs> There's that. That goes in there. There, there we go. You know, I'm not going to put it all the way, but we'll put it, oh, we'll just slide it together real quick for you. Well, these, I mean, this is going to be one of those five-minute builds, Yeah, guys. this is not going to be a long one, guys. This is really, rather. I might try and drop the gear real quick. I don't know if I will screw everything together, but uh, like I said, it's, it's, this is one of them airplanes that you can put together. Lori, top shot for a second. But if you can't put it together, you don't need to be in this one. <laughs> right? Let's put, it, let's put it that way. There's that, and this, and we might be able to, like I said, fire up the uh, landing gear and put them down for you real quick. I mean, it's, if you don't see, all we haven't done is put the screws in it, but I mean, bam! I mean, I, That's how fast that airplane assembles, aside from screws. The hardest thing is putting the tanks on. I mean, <laughs> it's amazing now how easy they're making these airplanes. I'm going to grab my servo well, there, there is screws. We had a, we had a bag of screws. Or they come, let's see here. How many screws are in here? Yeah. I'm counting two. Four, All right, six. front view. That was the build, man. That was hard. Ten screws. How will we ever finish this airplane? Let's see, I'm trying to make sure my nose wheel is clear. And a bind plug is what um, I got in the in the bag. Hands I'm going to drop the gear real quick. We'll see that. I mean, that is all that's to this now. It's amazing the day and age we live in. Literally, i got to put eight screws in, and this airplane's you done know, right now. We put it know, together. I'd, I'd, I'd really like to pop it off this one. Well, and you can. Let's yeah, see. Really oh, you know what? I don't need this. I can just bind straight up to it because it has the receiver in it. I forgot. Where's my radio? But but I always like to pop it off these planes that have this thick gray, gray paint on the top because they just pop on, on the on the little black. If you guys have watched us do that, uh, when I do the what. 
the rivets. We call them Papa Dots for the new guys. But if you haven't watched one of our videos on the riveting, you guys really want and, and to get your plane to stand out just perfect, but do the dotting on the thing. Maybe maybe I'll do that this weekend and, film and it. when we we'll film it, we'll show you the dots. We'll show you the dots. Our trusty old mind plug. Like I said, most guys want to always see us put the gear out. Um, the the tail won't be hooked up right now, but everything else is hooked up. Isn't it an amazing time to be in this hobby, though? I mean, literally, <sighs> we just put that airplane together yeah, and nothing. Like that. Yeah. All right, let's go fly. Let's go let's fly. Go. The, the hardest part is programming the thing. I right. mean, really. The, I mean, the radio setup's going to take longer than putting it together tonight. And I'm going to grab a battery. Cause really, like I said, the hardest part is knowing how to program it. A and, lot of you guys want to see it work. Here, let's see. I don't so, know what I, my RC Jetworks batteries. Kevin's got all of them right now. So we're just going to use this cheapo battery. That's okay. It'll work for what we're doing. Oh. Um, Let's see. It doesn't hurt nothing to bind anymore, right? That was our old program. No, okay. Right. So I'm going to set this in here for a second. And it, I think it has lights and everything. Well, I'm going to grab it just so it don't yeah. fly off the table. Look at all the lights. Ooh. Yeah, look at the lights. Man. Yeah. i tell you another thing they're doing. I have noticed the lights are, getting, are bright. getting brighter and really noticeable even in the daylight and they're just like crazy bright right before dusk i mean it's it's wonderful i mean this this thing's got the brightest lights on it huh so our tail surface Ooh. oh there we go they were down <laughs> well the gear was already down so you can see i mean it's already i haven't put the screws in the tail yet so be a little careful no, well, those, those they're tails. working those. ailerons are working yeah, flaps are working. Flaps are working. I mean, look at that, guys. That's how fast this is. All right. Uh, uh, okay. So let's turn it this way. Okay, do the flaps again. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's see. There's the flaps. I haven't put them on a slowdown yeah. yet, but there they are. And then the ailerons. Ailerons. There you go. There's the ailerons. I mean, isn't it amazing? Elevator. Uh, flying stab. Here we go. Full flying stab. Place. The rudder's not hooked up right now. This is sweet. I, I mean, it's amazing I mean, it, how is. fast it is. All right, so see if you can turn it over. But to... Let's see if, don't let the tail fall out. Oh, oh, got the well, battery. Battery wasn't strapped in. Hang uh -oh. on a second. Let me strap it in. Uh -oh. and, yeah, you know. I'm glad it didn't hit me on the toe. We're excited. I'd be out for the night. Hang on. Let me strap the battery. It hit me in. right in the brain. <laughs> We're going to some more work. No. Oh, hush, dog. Sorry, everybody. The dog is barking right now. Hey, shh. No. How's Bye. GB lending tonight? Our buddy GB, Ryan's Toy Shack's in here. There we go, throw that battery strap on there. Okay. We get well, GB is telling you can save 15% if you use their coupon code. All right. Must be okay. nice. Why don't you share some of them coupon codes with the boozers, huh? Oh, crap, I left the vine plug in. <laughs> we, we haven't been in I'm new at this. Yeah, we haven't been in this sport very long. In action. <laughs> I'm pretty new at this whole uh, RC airplane thing, sorry. Y'all believe me on that, right? afraid it's going to fly off the Okay, uh, so the tail's not stuck in, so when you turn it over, just kind of watch the tail. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't, there's a wire this on this. My airplane. Don't push it all the way down, because there's a wire sticking yes, out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I'm just saying there's a wire sticking out, so okay. don't push it okay. down. Okay, I got you. Anyway, but if you want to... <laughs> sorry. Lori, top shot. We're going to turn it over and show everybody the landing gear. We're going to try to turn it over. The, that should be locked in there now. This is really difficult. Okay. Those lights are crazy bright. Okay, okay, there you go. Here you go, guys. So here's the landing gear. I love the little door, too. And then it's got the landing lights right here. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, there so there go. they are. They take a couple seconds to come on. Can you see them? Yeah, you can see them. There's the landing light. Here, hold it like that. I'm gonna flip them back up. Watch the landing light turns off, and then it folds down, and the little door closes. Isn't that amazing? Now that this, this was not available. Look at the landing gear on the stuff. All suspension. Oh uh, yeah, it's all suspension. I mean, so I didn't realize that either. This is actually a suspension strut. I mean, guys, this is sweet. Uh, I mean, you this yeah. uh, suspension strut again. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice airplane. 
And we could put, we got all the bombs and stuff that go on it. So you got the drop tanks for the inners, and then you've got the the outers, uh, and then you've got the drop tank in the middle also. Let you see inside the the. Can you, I don't know where it's at. Here we go. Oh, okay. there you go. That's a good shot right there. I'm gonna there flip go. it one more time with y'all right there. I know everybody always wants to see the gear, so here you go. Isn't that little hatch so slick? How they did this? That's so slick. Yeah, I mean it's it's there isn't anything they left off. I mean, it's, yep. it's, yeah, I'll get rid of the stand. You can actually set it on the uh, table now. Pretty sweet. I <laughs> I was uh, kind of impressed. Yeah, and I'm amazed just how easy they are to assemble nowadays. Though I mean, I don't know if this is going to close because this is a five thousand. Ryan says he got those four little screws with glue. Yeah, I can't close it with the battery on right now because I got too big a pack in it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a 5200 uh, cheapo. I don't remember the same brand of it, but I'm going to push it back. Uh, no, I'm not. Well, I tell you what, it looks like it's scooped to me. I mean, I, I... Oh, I'm sure it will. If yeah, I put this know, in here, actually... We always said, yeah. and, and I haven't seen one yet, and I'll keep saying it, E-Flight doesn't really put out a bad air. They don't. I, I, well, I just, I'm not going to, I never have seen a bad E-Flight plane. Maybe they have had one, but I haven't had one. Yeah. Somebody might disagree with All me. All right. Well, boy, they oh, it's that nice. I about don't it. think E-Flight really tries to make one bad, but... Uh, I haven't seen one yet. The Warbirds, we we had nearly every one of their Warbirds. And they're all great, yeah. Here, let's uh, hey, let's stick the ordinance on it real quick. Okay. Let's just for just, giggles. Let's stick that on there. That just clips in right there. What she said. Yep, it goes from the forward and then pushes back. Mm -hmm. I thought they went okay. just like that. And then drop tank here. Oh, we, okay. Where is it? Uh. No, here, Isn't this always interesting? There's two that are the same and there's one that's different. There's one big one. Yeah, the big one goes in the middle, the two okay. smaller ones go on the wings. Must have used a lot of gas. Well. Okay, I can't do this with one hand. You put it in. This takes the finesse. Well, the first time is go. not a good thing. So y'all can see it with all the loads on it. There you go. And then it's got one that goes right here, the big the big tank. Okay. I mean to tell you, you get a lot of ordnance with this oh, airplane man, too. Have to cut. Oh, wait a minute, maybe I got it in the wrong. Can't go that way, can you? No, I can't. It goes that way. Uh -huh. There you go. Come on. Where's the monkey when you need him? The most. It's okay. Uh, don't don't try and force it right it, now. It don't force. It's okay. Put that one on. You got oh, one oh, more oh, missile. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't force. We can always take our nap. Hey, what? This being the sleep. second banana is a hell of a job. <laughs> That's what he's been calling himself lately. Call, a, he's number one banana, and Kevin's the second one banana. It's funny the way they did. I like how they did the dual front tire. We actually too. got Kevin out there today, and he's on video. Yeah, you know, that's the other cool thing. Uh, Lori, top shot for a second. I want to show this. I love the fact that all these companies now, like that new airliner, had the dual wheels. I love they're doing two wheels now instead of just one single wheel. That's so cool and scale looking to have two wheels on the nose wheel. To me, I love it. There you go. There's a good shot of all the ordnance on it now. I don't think we did something right though. Maybe the missiles go on the inside because those don't look like they'd close very well. <laughs> nope. See the problem? I think, I think, I think right. the missiles go on the outers. That's what I was thinking. Okay, well, hey, I didn't know. Here you go. So maybe these go over here. All the. All the uh, okay, Warbird, that probably worked better. <laughs> all the Warbird pictures I ever seen. Is... Okay, put that on there. Hey, you know, I was guessing. I didn't look at the destructions. Okay. I'm gonna get yeah. on the other side. I here, stay over here. Stay over there. There you go. There you go. There you go, banana. Get over there. Banana number one. Put that on. I'm gonna get. That's why I wear that shirt, that sticky monkey pants shirt. Yep. I, I eat bananas. There it goes. All right. Hey, there we go. That'll probably work better. There anyway. You go. All right. So I'm gonna turn Watch it over. The microphone. Oh. Watch the airplane too, because it's not stuck together. All right. There we go. 
There it is with all the ordnance and everything all beautiful. Well, all you guys that have flown this thing. Uh, is Isn't it, that just... Isn't it fast? It looks like a... Doesn't it just blow you away go. now, though? I mean, literally, we unboxed and put that entire airplane together. Aside from, I mean, we haven't put, put eight screws in it. it. Whoopee, yeah, you know. Whoopee. But, I mean, we were able to put it together, put all the ordnance on it, put the gear out, everything in <laughs> 10 minutes. 15 minutes? Less if we that. wouldn't have been farting around talking, yeah. uh -huh. literally I could put this airplane together in 15 minutes. That's amazing to me. And you've got an F4. This isn't just a little donkey thing. I mean, it's F4 fan. That's just, I love the time in the hobby we're in right now. And yes, well, you know, there is a MiG sitting over here, which we that would be fun We too. were out there at that field and they were flying real. Yeah, we got yeah. to see some turbines today out but, of the field. You know something? It was, it was. It's real uh, neat how loud they are and everything, but, but there's not much you're missing between here no, and there. No, no, they're not. To me, there's not. There's not to me either. If they you know, the blasted thing, they would think so. Yes, but to me, they they have almost the same sound. That these things have the same sound and the thrust coming out the back, just like that. Yeah, the turbines are louder, turbines, of course, yeah, but of course, you get but the smile. price. I can yeah. have, I can have yeah. 10 of these for the price of one turbine, so it's a hard... Well, just, I was asking that one guy, just the engine is was like $1,700, yeah. and it was not the most... Uh, I mean, the airframe is four, yeah. and, and he said the uh, fuel system was like two or three gram. I, shoot, uh -uh. not when you can get one for this. Yeah, Dave Marshall. I think they're making fun of me when I had the drop tanks on the wrong way. You should have cycled the gear. That would have been interesting. <laughs> yeah, it, would have been it would have been cool, all right? They'd have went up so far. They'd have went up a little bit, yeah. <laughs> now it needs the ordinance painted. And I might do something, and, and Dad's looking at it going, I kind of want to pop a dot this one. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to fly great. And I have an afterburner that we can put in this one, too. Yeah, Kevin, yeah, that's I, right. I gave it to Kevin. He's going to put it in the F-16, but I don't know. Man, I love the E-Flight F-16. I, and we were out at large yeah, today, and everybody had, had one. But you had the uh, the dual. It's still right here. It's right here. Because our, our buddy over oh, at yeah, uh, the light burner, he makes the dual uh, afterburner burner kit. Lori Top Shot for a second. If y'all hadn't seen this... Our buddy makes these. This is the dual afterburner kits that you can put in this airplane. So you get an afterburner in both sides of your exhaust port. And uh, they're super bright, super awesome. Um, we really have been digging these things. So I don't think this one's going to fit because this is a 90 millimeter kit, but I'm sure I could get them to send us another of the, uh, what is this, an 80? Yeah, 80 millimeter kit. Uh, to right. put in the got, F4. It's got to go on the But uh, the, the little light burner afterburners are so sweet and they're so, uh, for 50 bucks or, you know, they're around about 50 bucks, depending on which one you get. It's an awesome, awesome upgrade to upgrade your jet. Upgrade to this, which is not it, that expensive. It looks so neat when they're flying around with them. So if you haven't got a chance to check it, check it out. Thelightburner.com. I, I don't think we have it linked right now, but if he's in here, he'll drop his link. But check it out, guys. It's always cool on these little jets. Um, there's a couple other guys making them right now. You can check out any number of them. Um, <clears throat> love it, though. Yeah, and then uh, Greg C., he was out there. He got to see the uh, HSD Super Viper fly today. That was an awesome cute thing. Uh, we absolutely loved the way it flew. I didn't quite get my wheelies down yet. Couple more flights, I'll be wheeling it down the runway. Uh, Y'all know me, I love my wheelies. James laughed. Uh, James cracked me up from motion, guys. If you haven't seen the airliner video, when he's like, "Look at the lights! Look at the lights!" Ah! Just freaking out. I just laugh every time I watch it. You know, the, 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 it had it good sound. I mean, yeah. the sound of the thing was great. The HSD Super Viper with that, uh, it had the JP 105 millimeter fan. It sounds a lot different than most. It's loud. When you're right behind it, it has a very high pitch. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a low pitch sound. It's a very high pitch. And, uh, and, and it's kept, loud. You kept talking about how you could feel the weight of the airplane. Yeah. Now, the one thing I could tell, it came in really floaty, but you could really feel that that airplane like weighs, weighs I mean, it weighs 12, 13 pounds. Yeah. For, for an airplane uh, like 
these jets, I mean, that's pretty heavy. By the time, it might even be more than that because it's got two 6S, 6,000s in it. I mean, it could be pushing 15 or 16 pounds. But I could really feel the presence in the air. It's a big jet. Uh, I don't have it here right now. Kevin took it home with him. He but was so happy. He was so giddy with it. Uh, Kevin just was absolutely in love with the thing. Uh, but anybody that's ever flown an Avanti, think of an Avanti that's twice as big. That's what it reminded me of. Yeah. Uh, has more power. The sound is absolutely amazing. See it? Um, it's just an absolute dream to fly. And I hope Andy's in here tonight. I've been talking to him on the phone because... The real neat thing, guys, if you ever deal with RC Jetworks or Andy, um, he texted me. I, I texted him three or four nights ago. I was like, I'm going to make the Super Viper this weekend. He's texting me every day. Is there anything I can help you with? As I was setting it up, I'd never done brakes before. He, he walked me through how to set up the brakes. He walked me through the, the Cortex gyro in it. He's been every step of the way. The RC Jetworks guys, Andy, has been right there with me. What questions do you got? And then he, he messaged me yesterday. How'd the maiden go? I was like, I didn't get to maiden. And he's like, okay, well, tell me when you do. And then he messaged me again 20 minutes ago. He's like, how'd the maiden go? I was like, man, it went great. Timothy Tutant, thank you so much for the super chat, my brother. Uh, we'll put your name right down here. From every week, guys, if you ever do a super chat, we definitely put y'all down here. <laughs> Fred. Holy cow, man. You've just been killing it lately. We'll get your name down here in the little banner here in just a second. But thank y'all so much. Um, we really appreciate it every week. It's amazing. Amazing. But uh, yeah, the if, if you ever have a chance to actually get an airplane and a power system and everything from Andy, uh, RC Jetworks. It's it's really a neat experience. You're probably going to be um, the top of the top line. Right. Of, of a little here. warning, and I'm, I'd rather just be straight with everybody because I want you to be informed. If you get an HSD airplane, there's not a lot of part support for it. Um, so be... Don't let it be one of your first airplanes. If you're going to go out and no, spend that kind no, of money... No, no, no. Have yeah. your confidence up. Yeah, have you, already flown these. All these things like you're this. not tearing stuff up anymore because, like, if you break a wing on that HSD Super Viper, you buy a yeah, kit, kit and it's 500 bucks and you get all the parts, but you don't buy just a wing. So, it, just a little side note, and I would rather be honest with you guys. Yeah. I, I've said it from the beginning, and I want to tell you exactly what you're getting and be honest. The airplane is absolutely amazing. The customer service has been absolutely hands down handy. It's worked with us through the whole process of setting the airplane up, made sure everything was perfect today when I went out to fly it from the gyro to the brakes to, I mean, everything I'd never dealt with before. Um, he worked up with us. But I'm just telling you, if you get an HSD airplane, foam parts are not the easiest to get. And just go into it knowing that and you'll love the experience. But just know that's part of it. And if you need parts, if you know you're gonna need parts, buy a whole second airframe. Not with, they, you can buy them bare. Uh, actually, I believe Kevin ordered his off of uh, Banana Hobby, to be funny enough. He ordered a whole airframe to have two of them. So he had the extra part. So, service announcement, I tell you how it is. That's the honest to God truth. I would buy again tomorrow from, uh, Andy, because he's been great to us. Wes and Papa Boozer, glad to have you guys at our field today. Enjoyed the show. Great info. Mark Morgan, we had a pleasure being out there. Um, we, we, we are loving it at Lark's. Um, your field is absolutely gorgeous. You should be We're, very proud of it. You should be field. very proud of it. And hopefully maybe one day we can have a Boozer flying out there with all these guys that well, you see I in mean, the chat. We'd love to have Wesley them. Wesley has been asked in a way to have a have a fly-in here that some of the guys can support us that's on this right. channel. Uh, uh, we would love to do it. We don't know when. We, 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 we would like to have a fly-in eventually, and we've always wanted to have a club that was that big was enough, to, enough support to support it. The, and at Lark's, I feel like we have a club and, and the members to maybe be able to finally do it. 
you know, we're not even officially yeah, members, members yet, yet so, so we don't want to push our luck, guys, but, so, but uh, um, I know you guys have been asking to do a get-together with all of, all of the Boozer family, and, and maybe we'll be able to figure it out yeah, one maybe, of these days. Maybe, maybe. Let's, so, let's, let's, Victor Shameless, thank you so much on the Super Chat again. You guys are you so guys, kind to yeah. us. You're the reason that we get to do this every week, and... Uh, we we love it. I I just I'm blown away every week that you guys come back to see what we're doing here at the yeah. Boozer Hangar. Um, we try to give you good product, good, good product uh, information. I think that's what you're here for. Uh, we we we. And done a, if I ever miss or Papa misses a comment, we're sorry. We, yeah. we try and answer each and every one of you, but it's just. With every week, it gets bigger and bigger, the family. You know, you're always welcome, if you have a question, to message me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. If you have a question that I don't get to get to answer in the, get to get, but get to answer in the show, you can always message me. I answer all the time. <laughs> Little dogs over here in Dad's lap, you can't see it coughing, but man, we, we are just... We've just been blown away with everybody that loves the channel and supports us from week to week, and, and it's provided us with being able to do this. We, we've been really lucky to have Kevin. Kevin's yeah, been Kevin's a wonderful been a, person a to help good, us. Uh, promoter of our channel. Uh, uh, he's been able to help us so get airplane more. after airplane. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, yeah. You just, it's, it's awesome when you have somebody that will support, support you and help like us. Kevin has done us. And, and we're going, I mean, Kevin's, it, we're, we're, he's, he's going to be a boozer, I, I guess. So we're going to adopt him a little bit. We're putting him in the videos and everything. That he Which was, city? Well uh, deserves it. I think they're asking where Lark's our seafield no, where, is. Where do we live? Where do we live? We live in Webster, Florida. The big town of Webster, Florida. If you ever want to come fly with us, like I said, we're going to become members of Lark's RC um, in Traveris? Traveris? I can't ever say it right. There's a seaport there, though. It's close to Leesburg, Florida. Um, Traveris, Florida. And we do have an RC club here in Webster still, and I still have a member there. Um, it just felt like, as we've gotten bigger, I would like to be able... Like, say, like, the Bigfoot comes out, and we, we do our flight review, but then let's see some guys that have nothing, no skin in the game. Just say, here's the airplane, go fly it, tell us what you think. My goal is to be able to have guys that, uh, you know, they don't care how much it cost or who bought it or whatever. They're going to tell you their honest opinion. And my, my whole goal with all this is for you guys to have the most informed decisions before you buy in the future. So, just not us. I mean, Just we, not we, us. We, we want some other guys that are popping in. So, you know, if we're at a club that's, you know, the club out there, there was probably 30 or 40 guys out there. And today. there's going to be some guys that are awesome pilots that, that uh, you know, hand it over to a great pilot and say, what do you what think do about you think? this airplane? You know, what's yes. your thoughts? Because more opinions are always a great thing. You know, I we got to hang out with Rich at, well, you didn't get to meet him, but at Joe Nolan, the guy... Every look over an airplane. And, oh man, look at this! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, this isn't very good, but this is great. And you know, it, it, different eyes on different things pick out different things. And I and I've always said I want to be as honest as I can with you. I don't want to go out and just bash something. You know, there's there's parts that could be better on every airplane, and I'm not going to be the guy that's like, this is terrible. This is terrible because I mean, still at the end of the day, this is a pretty good airplane. Right. Not to say I haven't had some terrible airplanes, but I just won't even review them at that point. If it's that bad, I'm going to be like, nah, I don't want to do it. Um, but yeah, that, I, I, that's that's another reason that we're possibly going to another club. Is, to is have that to have the to, possibility to, to have, have the, the draw of the pilot. And I can't buy everything. <laughs> so it's nice when somebody else at the field's like, hey, I got the new Hobby King MIG or whatever, and you can say, hey, can we film it? You know, you can fly it, but I want to film it and tell everybody about it and blah, 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 and it's nice. You know, one of the biggest reasons that we've been able to provide so much content to you lately is Kevin. These a lot of these airplanes have been his. Like this airplane's his and that airplane's his. The F-104 was mine, but you know, the reason we can do unboxings every week is we're doing other people's airplanes. They say, here, let 
here, you can do my airplane, you know, we trust you, you put it together and come out and fly it, and okay, cool, let me see your airplane and I'll do it. No, I bought the F, uh, the, the Corsair. The Corsair, yeah, you know, it's, it's a team effort, week, yeah, we can't buy them every week to do this, and Larks is in Tavares, Florida, there we go, I see Greg C, I can't ever say the word right, I'm just telling you guys, it's absolutely gorgeous. You're going to see some videos coming out in the near future from out there. They have a 500 foot by, I think it's 40 foot across, Geotex runway that is absolutely so smooth. It's the wheelie machine runway, and it's yeah. and they've got a beautiful metal building out there for us I to take cover. I couldn't get the length of it. I mean, it's oh just... yeah, that's the funny thing. Me and him have gotten so used to flying on our little bitty runway. We get out there and we're like, this thing's a mile long. I mean, I've landed on half of it going, I don't know how to hit the end of it. It's so darn long. <laughs> it's, uh, you're gonna get, it's a little bit hard to get used to when you're only... Go going. from the tiny one to that yeah. one, yeah. And, and But we loved it and we can't wait to get out there and fly some more. Um, and we really do thank the guys for having us out today. We had a great time. Um, and I hope a lot of you guys in the future, I know some of the guys in this chat are from the Central Florida area because I get messages from you. Maybe this is a good feel for you. Um, I, I'd never heard of it until our buddy Kevin, once again the guy that bought the airplane, said, Hey Wes, you should come over here to uh, the Larks Field. It's really nice. And I was like, oh, well, okay. And you know, we went out there and man, I was like, wow, this is nice. This is really nice. Yeah, so... It's been great, and we really did enjoy it out there, uh, and we plan on taking this out maybe next weekend out there to fly this for you guys, um, and we're trying to put videos out as fast as possible. That's the other thing i got to say right now. Just because you see it unboxed does not mean we'll see it on the channel that quick because we have so We've much, so much falling off footage, and uh, we filmed like five videos today. We've got so many videos that I'm putting... I went from just doing the Wednesday release, so I know you guys have always enjoyed our Wednesday releases, but in order to get through some of these videos, we're going to go to two videos a week now. That's Mondays an and Fridays. Have, that's it's an awful, awful thing, thing to have, to have but if, if we still stayed at one a week right now, it would take us a year to put all the videos out that we're building right now. So. Anybody want to see the dog? <laughs> The little I mean, Sally, this is the, little the cutest Sally, dog the ever. Little, little Jack Russell, that's just a, a little cha -cha. ball of fire. Cha -cha. And she just loves to sit in everybody's lap. So that's what I'm over here doing. Sally's a lap dog. But yeah, we're gonna go to two videos a week for a little bit uh, until we get through them all. <laughs> Excuse me. We're gonna go to uh, I believe Mondays and Fridays is what we're doing. Watch it. Oh, tell him. Tell him, Winnie. Poor dog. <laughs> <laughs> His little dog. But anyway, I think we're going to be doing that. And, uh, it's, what? I don't know. What are you doing? Give me the. Here, wait. Hang uh, on, buddy. Here. The get the pig. Go get the pig. That dog will chase that pig forever. Um, but, but anyway, we're having a great time. E either way, whatever happens, we're having a ball. You know, uh, and it, well, why, uh, the thing is, is that I know that a lot of you guys. Uh, I, know, I know that we want to get Ryan down here one of these days, and we want the a facility to be yeah, able to... Yeah, I'd like to eventually, you know, pilot Ryan's in here right now. One day I'd like and, to have him out, and, and it'd be nice to have a big enough field to there's coordinate. A, there's to do a few something guys like around here that that live pretty close. Yeah, there's a lot of people around the area that would like to meet RC him. And if he was out here, we'd like to have a place to do it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think Larks could support having Ryan out and having everybody come out to visit him. Um, anyway, that's the whole point of the, the new club and we're really excited about it. Spell check sucks. Yes, it does, but being a, but not being able to spell sucks even worse. This guy. Can't spell to save my life. So spell check's a wonderful thing, actually. Grass guys, crappy landing people like me. <laughs> You need a couple of tossing, no, more tossing boss. Just put speaking out of tossing boss planes, I've been thinking about getting the F-22 from Motion, the little one. And I, I, I saw it fly at Fall and All. Uh, Enoch, the RC jet dude son, was flying the heck out of that little thing. He took it up in combat, survived all through that. He was out there doing inverted passes. 
and low pass and everything, I was like, man, I kind of want to get that airplane. So you might see that one pretty soon. Um, we also, with going to Larks and a 500 foot runway, I have a lot better place to finally fly the F-104. So I'm hoping to get the F-104 up in the next few weeks and fly that. Hey, dogs, stop. They're, they're getting uh, mad at each other. So anyway, oh, got that. Well, look, it's a Hay West and Lori Ingnit uh, made in the P-51. Good, good. Awesome. They got their P-51 up. Let's see, the other one, they got the T-28 also. So yeah, RC Jet Dude's kids got two P-51s and two uh, T-28. So I hope they enjoy I, them. I hope they enjoy them. I hope the kids really do. And I saw, Enoch, wings off of I saw Enoch got to fly his new F-22 also. So so glad that everybody came together to buy him a new F-22 after the terrible thing that happened with his plane getting stolen. Um, the Boozers always support you, Steve. We, would, we were glad to donate to that cause and are extremely happy that he's got his new one. He was flying his F-22, 4S F-22 inverted the wires. Yeah, yeah, I could see it. I could see it. He was flying under the telephone wires at George's house inverted. So, P-51 flew great. I know it would. It's the old... He got the 11 Hobbies, which you guys that are new to it, that's the Arrows RC P-51. Yeah. It's exactly the same plane with a different paint job. Maybe a couple things changed on it, but that's what it is. I knew it was going to fly good, so... Uh, I'm no, glad the boys know, are having the, fun with it. All those arrows. Uh, We've had a really good time birds. with the arrows playing. I love my uh, Bearcat. That that thing is just sweet to fly. I mean, it's it, 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 if it flies like the Bearcats, all the rest of them. It, it, uh, it's not, and they're great for the money, guys. I mean, yeah, good price, good good airplanes. So. Can you count all the RC planes you have? I probably can't sitting right here. I'd have to think about it for a while. I probably have. 30 or 40, maybe more. Probably more. Uh, Papa Boozer's got a room full of them that his wife hates. I, well, yeah, I've got a lot over at my house, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I think they're, I they're got, all around us right I now. I think too. I only got 15 or 16. I don't know. They're, it's they're it's all around It's a terrible around thing us. to have. It's a terrible problem to have, and we're glad to have it. Uh, you know, and a lot of the planes, like I said, that you've seen on the channel, I don't actually own. Um, you know, we always kind of project it as there are planes, but th they're not. Uh, we can't afford to buy them all, all the time. So, but we've been very blessed with the other members of the club saying, Wes, take our plane, do your thing with it, then give it back. And it's been great because I could film the Maiden. They get their airplane Maiden to buy me because a lot of them want me to fly their airplanes before they get them. You want them set, you want they want them set up. Uh, they know they're going to fly good. If something happens... I'm a decent pilot, and I can usually not crash everything. I, I, I don't crash much anymore, um, unless the plane is... Normally, I don't crash the unless the plane has got some kind of major you know, issue. The, if, if you was really good back in the old days, you had to take somebody's crappy building. Right. You had to take the building into consideration. Yeah. This wing is crooked as hell. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm good, but I'm not that yeah. good. So, you know, that's the thing about... The old days of building those ah, things. I think yeah, I took Lori's water build. on accident, but whatever. God. All right. Anyway, we've, we've had a ball. Uh, <laughs> Quispy says he's got around 100 with a, another 18 waiting to be assembled. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, you know, everybody that's got the, the, the real itch has got the problem. But Yeah. My wife always says, don't you have enough? I said, no, no. I just need one more. One more. Yeah. No, I always used to like, uh, you've got a problem. Well, you know, I do have a problem, but I think one more and I'll get the problem figured out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, one of these days, I'm going to have to find the old, the, the, there was a poem about RC modelers, and it's in all this stuff that I gave you somewhere. I, if I ever find that, I'll have to put it up on the channel. Does anybody remember that back in the, it was in the 70s or 80s, they had a RCers poem? Does anybody remember that? Dave Marshall, Discontinued Planes, I'd like to see a new... I have a brand new Prometheus. I've flown it three times. I love the airplane, it's just getting to it most of the time. I bought it off Facebook after it got discontinued. The guy had one brand new in the box, and I've still got it. And there's nothing wrong with it, it's brand new. But I love that airplane, and I agree, that'd be a good one to bring back. 
I have a feeling we're going to see a Draco pretty soon, too, from Horizon. I don't know with the accident with the real one happening, if that's put it on hold or not. But I have a feeling you're going to see a Carbon Z Draco pretty soon. I, I don't work with Car Horizon on anything. They don't give me nothing or anything, so I'm just speculating on that. Uh, I wish they would have done... I wish they would have waited just a little longer on the Carbon Z T28 and put upgraded retracts on it. I was a little disappointed with that. It's a fantastic airplane. It's great. I'm glad it's back, but I wish they would have waited to bring it out another month or two and put upgraded retracts. I had to, you suspension know, the suspension retracts. Thing, the only thing I've got the old one, and the only thing that I've had a problem with is the front. Well, the old one is the exact same as the brand the, new one. The front steering. The front steering servo, servo sucks on it. It's nine gram. It is a metal one, but if you have potholes or something, you tear pit, it up instantly. It will strip that servo. So what I did was I put a seventeen gram servo in my retract, and I haven't stripped it out yet. So, but that's the only thing. the The gear are okay as long as you can land it halfway decent. Now, if you jam that thing in the ground, or you you know. You're, it's going to suffer. But. Uh, Michael Raja, my go-to airplane is the Cessna 150 or the Avanti. I would agree with both of those. I'm not a huge fan of the, the Carbon Z Cessna 150. It's a great airplane for a newer guy. It's just It wasn't for me. The Timber or the Cherokee in the Wind, I 100% agree with the, the Timber. I absolutely love my Timber. timber and he'll tell you I've flown the poop out of my Timber. If you like, if you I'm like not a Tundra guy from Hobby King. I was not a fan of that airplane. I have flown it. We've actually filmed it, and I just haven't got the film out yet. But wasn't a fan of the Hobby King Tundra. I would rather have a, a Turbo Timber or a regular Timber any day of the week over that airplane. What about this new Arrows? Arrow? I really like the Arrows. Uh, one, the Bigfoot. Yeah. Um, I flew the Bigfoot today, actually. I took it out to the field and was flying it. I still like that airplane for the price. The Bigfoot... Okay, so the way I would tell you guys is the Bigfoot is the best value for money in the Stoll airplanes. There you go. Uh, it flies phenomenal. Yep. You get lights, you get flaps. But if you want, my favorite stall plane is it's still the, the Timber. Yeah. The Timber. Um, but it's Not, more money. It's about $70 more, more for that, that Timber. And I don't know if it's $70 more, more airplane. That, plane. that would be my thing. It's a great, great airplane. Yeah, this, but the, the Arrows Bigfoot for the price, Man, it's a lot of airplane. You get a lot of airplane for what is it, 150 bucks, 169 right now, whatever it is. Pilot Ryan's got it linked on his, and you can use the promo code to get twenty dollars off. Go check it out. If you have, if you can't find it, go to my video of the Arrows RC Bigfoot. Click the link. It'll take you through Pilot Ryan, and it'll take you right to it. There you go. Dave, Say that as best as I can. But Dave Marshall says he happens to know he, he takes in rescue service for abandoned and neglected airplanes. Right. I'm take your Prometheus <laughs> away and put it to good use. Yeah. I, I tell you what, my Prometheus, it, it's right there. This is a Horizon product. I'll grab the other one. But if you guys don't know what plane we're talking about, I'll grab it real quick. It's black. It's black. It looks like a Pitts. It, it is a Pitts. It's a Pitts. It's a, it's a Pitts on steroids. I agree. This would be a neat one for him to bring back. It was the right Yes, we size. still have our Carbon Z28, uh, T28. I, I, it, I, I've said if I only had one airplane, I'm glad to see it. I would, I would throw everything away and have the Carbon Z T28. It flies so good. I'll agree. The Carbon Z28. I mean, the little pl that plane will do any maneuver you can do, Wesley. If you go go back to our videos and watch the T28 video that Wesley he uh, I actually challenged Wesley to do more than than what we normally do on a video. I mean, he's flying it upside down. He's doing it inside in a, uh, a outside loop. Uh, the plane is just. Rock solid, guys. Uh, if you you can't go wrong uh, with the one they got. It, I mean, the thing if you learn how to land it, you won't have to worry about the landing gear. I mean, not to. I mean, I'm sorry, but oh, bad sorry. pilot. Yeah, 
but if you're a halfway decent pilot, that plane will teach you how to fly. <laughs> Sorry. Out. Not to offset the subject too much, but here's the plane everybody's talking about right now. This is the old, uh, uh, sorry, Dad. Prometheus. <laughs> the Carbon Z Prometheus. I'm trying to figure out how to put it on the table. Fine, I'm good. Let's see. There Me you go. And the dog are good. That's the old Carbon Z Prometheus. Uh, mine's a little dusty, but it's still just like it came out of the box yeah. two days ago. And I've flown a lot of it, and, and I, I love this say, I put this airplane together, and it's not the e well. It's, it's it was. They had some bad designs on this airplane. Putting the top wing on and the bottom wing, oh, these, man, these, these little these linkers those, were a pain yeah, in the those, butt. Those like, you put them on once and you don't want to take them You don't want to take this plane apart. Um, it was weird too, so the battery goes up here. What the hell was that? I don't know. Um, but the, they actually had... Are you sure you remember? Well, it's a stuck. It's a stuck. It's stuck. There you go. So there was another hatch back here, which I never understood what this hatch was for. But the receiver, well, I guess it's so you can bind it, but I always thought it was weird that this opened up. This huge area opens up on this airplane. And a top shot. Since we're talking about old planes, just show you around the old plane. If you ever get a chance to get one, it's a lot of fun. But so the, this opened up, but there's nothing in here. So I never understood that. The receiver's right there for you to bind to it. But it was just always odd to me that you could take this off, but there really wasn't any reason to. The only other thing that drove me nuts about this airplane is the rattle of the wheels. Yeah, the wheels rattled a lot. Oops. Ooh, oh, that was almost bad. I didn't see that. I didn't knock my X-12 off the table. Then I could have bought a new one. We got a black DX9. They just rattle but in the air. The, uh, the battery actually went up here. So I never understood why that other hatch opened. But... But it does. It does. So anyway, just kind of an interesting one. They're not, you know, you, you don't see these airplanes for uh, no. people selling them. I don't know. Why. Most of the people that have them and they're still in good shape keep them because it's a great flying airplane. Um, and then most of the people that had them and couldn't fly them, they don't exist they anymore. Don't really <laughs> so this airplane can do. The, it, it's very stable and very easy to fly, but if you get it wrong, it goes yeah, really it wrong really, really quick. Fast, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Because the the control throws and everything are insane, and a lot of guys wanted to fly 3D with this airplane, and it's really not a 3D airplane. It doesn't. It, it can, but it really. It, it does some goofy stuff when you get it into a hover, and I, it's not really a 3D airplane. And I think a lot of guys got this thinking it was going to be a 3D plane and were disappointed with it. Mm -hmm. But if you get it and fly it as a, a, a scale, scale acrobatic, acrobatic airplane, airplane for knife edges, or it'll do one hell of a flat spin, uh, or an inverted flat spin, um, torque rolls, yeah, you know, turning head over end, that kind of stuff. But if you try and hang it on the prop, it doesn't really like it. It does. It gets real out of balance and whack, and it gets it gets kind of weird. Yeah. But if you do just scale acrobatics with it, it's It'll a lot of fun. Every maneuver in the book. But uh, I, like I said, I think a lot of guys thought it was going to be a three D plane. But... <laughs> anyway, there's that one. Not to take us off subject too much. Um, you never know what you're going to get on a Sunday night with the boozers. But anyway, there it is. You guys wanted to see it. Y'all were talking about it. There it is. We'll get the F4 back on the table. Where happened to it? It's behind you. Uh, there it is. <laughs> but I can't get over this this F4, guys. This is this is sweet. I, you know, this I, I I bet you this thing is going to be a real neat, sweet flight. And I I know some of you've got a hold of it. And I've seen your comments saying, and I haven't seen a bad comment about this airplane yet. Now, E-Flight lately really doesn't make a bad airplane. Anything Horizon, um, aside from a couple issues that people have had with that Havoc. Uh, but I, I watched a Havoc fly today at Lark's. The phone boy awesome. says he wants you to recycle the retracts one more time. Uh, well, we can do that. I don't care. If y'all want to see the gear go up and down, the guys that are coming in late, um, we can do it. Like, these are really sweet, guys. That is. The, I mean, we've shown FMS, them. These are the FMS retracts, and you can tell the difference. So I actually filmed today the Freewing versus FMS uh, Yak 130. 
And these are the same style of gear that are on that, that FMS Yak. And I was really impressed with the landing gear on that airplane. Not to mention, four minute flight time is amazing on that FMS Inrunner. So I'm sure it's kind of the same motor setup in this. Um, I don't know what I did with the battery. This is the wrong battery we're putting in here. This is a 5000 Electron Pro Cheapo battery. My, uh, the RC Jetworks batteries are with Kevin right now. He was going to go fly his Viper again tomorrow. After we got the Maidens done today, he was just in love. What are you eating? Something. Somebody's chewing something. What are you what chewing on? Uh oh! oh no. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's getting eaten? Something bad? Tester. Oh no! Oh yeah! Did tear it all up? <laughs> it still works. You don't have the big knob anymore. Where's the knob? It's in her mouth. Let me see. The dog just ate the servo checker. It's always, well, how was it always on the floor? I don't know. Where was it? Did you throw it away? No, I put it over there. So she just ate, ate the big knob off of it. It right. still works, don't it? It's fun. Whatever. I am a Jog Jack parts. Russell. Is that the Jack Russell for you? Okay. Sorry, so. Acro on. Okay, here we go. Contact. Flies off the Oof. table. Oof, man. That's lots of power. There it goes. All right. Get the chair out of the way. And the lights are beautiful on this airplane oh, too. They are bright. I mean, how no, much daylight you LEDs see are crazy. That or not, but that's how bright it is against my shirt. Okay, you ready? Yep, we're gonna pick it up and turn it over. Laura yeah, will go to top view to for us. Shot. Hopefully, oh, that's oh, don't forget it's not oh, linked oh, together. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no. uh, oh, no, we good. haven't put the screws in the wing. I Somebody it, forgot. Isn't it, isn't it amazing? Only the boozers can do this. I've had so many issues tonight. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's more fun this way. This is why people watch us. Yeah, that's right. What's what's the goobers going to do tonight? What's the goobers doing tonight? There it goes. Okay. Yeah, okay. So well, let me try this again. All right. Remember, nothing's screwed well, together. I know, I know. If we I'm stuck it together in about five what seconds. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, here we go. All right. Where are we at? All right, so uh, we'll, do, we'll do the front gear by itself and show them so they can see it. So you've got the nice, is this spring-loaded? Yeah, so this is a spring-loaded door. And you've got the nice headlight up here on the front. Hold it right like that. A little forward. Come this way. There you go. All right, so we're going to flip the gear for you. The little landing light turns off. Oh, wherever it is. There we right go. There. It's so awkward doing this on camera. So the little landing light goes off, and then the spring-loaded door goes down. When you flip the switch out, the light whoop, comes back on. And then the light comes on. Yep. There you go. And then on the back, You've got your, these are just the standard retracts, you know, they're no twist and turn or anything on this airplane, but, well, I don't think we got one plugged in all the way. We got one plugged in. Hang on. That's the wing that fell off. There we go. There it goes. There we go. It's not screwed in right now, sorry. There you go. I like the little eagle claws, too. The only reason that didn't cycle a second ago is we don't have the wing screwed on. We just had to push them in. Yeah, they come loose. There you go, though. Just so you can see it again. So carefully turn it over. Without well, I didn't think but if you can see it. them, look at this real quick, guys. I mean, they are suspension struts. They've got a lot of travel. They're really nice. But, uh, I really the like two, the gear on these airplanes. On the ones on the back. Yeah, I am. Push i got to figure out how to hold this. But, uh, yeah, suspension really cool. struts on the back, too. Really nice. They, I mean, they're really slick-looking retracks. Anyway, yeah, full flying stab on I this airplane. Didn't it. Back to the other side. No, it didn't hurt nothing. Hell, you I don't know where this came out of. I neither. There's a little piece of wood that came out of something somewhere. Well, we dropped that battery out earlier, so. Hey, it might have been that. Out. Whatever. Who knows? We're not very good at this. It's our first time. But full flying stab, like we showed earlier, since the battery hooked in, ailerons, and uh, flaps. So there you go, guys. Here it goes up, here it goes down. Yep. I think they need to be plugged in. I don't know yet. Free wing versus E Flight F4. Which one? I don't know yet. I haven't flown the E Flight. I've flown the uh, Free Wing. I really liked the bird. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I don't know yet. 
the presence of the free wing, the free wing is definitely bigger. It's a 90. But it's a 90. And the cockpit detail, I can already tell you, is way better on the free wing. But the thing that I'm waiting to see, I've flown a lot of the E-Flight planes lately, and the performance of these lighter airplanes, you know, you don't get the pretty stuff up here, and, and you miss some of the pretty stuff some of the other places, well, but they... they they fly so good. So but the, the problem we'll we've talked about that a lot. So we talked you about start it. putting the so all the. Let me put it this way: Are you wanting something that looks beautiful at home, flies really good, but you know there's something that could fly a little better with less of the stuff? But if you're a scale guy, and I mean you want it to look like the real deal, the free wing one is the way to go. The free wing one is more scale. It's a better looking jet. Um, but if you want probably performance, probably performance wise, this one's probably this lighter. This one probably will be um, perform a little, right. little bit, not little a lot. bit, not a lot. I mean, it's and it comes down still, to two. This still what has, paint job do you want? Yeah. Do you want a gray one with this U.S. Coral Sea paint job on it, or do you want a camouflage one? If you want a camouflage one, well, free wing's the way to go. So, what is the free wing one's price compared to this? Free wing one? one's more. Yeah. But it's bigger too. Yeah. So I mean, you know, it's neither airplane is, is a bad, bad airplane. airplane. Let's yeah. put it that way. They're both great I airplanes. You one of them is if bad you're bad. flying off of grass, this one's going to have a hard time. These wheels are very small. Just yeah. looking at it right now, yeah. that wheel is very small. Oops. It better I mean, be putting. Yeah, grass. this better be putting green. Um, the free wing one had a little bigger wheels on it. Um, I mean. It, there's just, yeah. it's well, hard to choose, the, it's hard for me to say, get this one versus this one, because I like them both, I you know, really do. That, that's the neat thing about this, guys, they're offering you, today, you've you got get a choices. choice. Competition is a wonderful thing. And they're both great airplanes, what do you want out of it? You know, with the, everybody says. And yeah, the, the, the free wing them. does come in gray also. But I'm just saying, if you wanted a camouflage one, that makes the choice really easy because only the free wing makes a camo one. The gray does come in both. Um, and the free wing is bigger. But it's 610 and other 10 things. You know, it's what do you want? Do you want safe and AS3X? Well, you got to get the E flight. I don't care anything about that. I don't even want a gyro wing. Well, then well, you might get the free wing. You know, that kind of stuff. It, you got to look at it. I, I want to give you. With our reviews, all your options. You know, I'm not going to go out and just tell you this one's better because it depends on the guy. Yeah, it really if I'm does. an F4 guy, I'd have both of them. Oh yeah, if it's you just like, love F4, get them like, both. If it's kind of like you like F, uh, the the Corsairs, everybody's got right. There's certain Corsairs people that say Z1. I want a Corsair and they I don't want care twelve what of them. It is. Yep. But that's about the same on the. But if you only can have one F4, then then uh, it'd be a hard choice. Just, it depends. Choice. Also, it depends what batteries do you have. I've got a pile of 5500s. Well, the E-Flight's out because this one ain't going to take a 5000. I just put a 5000 in there and the hatch wouldn't close. So, I've got 3700s. Well, you'd have to you fly a lot of 80s and you've got 3700s. Well, then you need to buy the E-Flight. Well, it's like the F86. It says... Right, the F-86. Dad's got the F-86. Absolutely loves but it. But he's got a pile of 5000s and nothing, nothing else. Nothing fits. So, he can't fly it with that. Although, if we move the ESC, I've heard that that 5,000 yeah, will go. Would work. But, you know, here's the other option with your E flight versus whatever. I got piles of 5,000 6Xs. Get the free wing, because that's the battery it flies on. I got loads of 3,700s and 3,500s. I fly 80s. Well, then you need the E flight. And that's I don't the battery. Have, see, flight. I don't have any of the 3,700s, so I would probably. I would play it off of that more than off of what's going to fly better because they're both yeah. going to fly great. Well, I've flown the F4 it, from Free Wing, it flies from the Now, home. everybody can afford every battery in the box. Right. So, you know, you so what, what do you already too. have that's going to work with everything you already have? Right. If you fly nothing but 80s and 70s, well, you don't want to buy something you're going to have to buy a bunch of 5,000s for. 
But, but, but I bought all the 5,000s for right. the T-28 carbon C. We've got a lot of stuff that flies on 5,000, but this isn't our airplane either. No, but that's, that's right. why I didn't buy it. But, 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 but you start going down the road one way, and it's hard to go. It's hard to veer off and go a bunch of different ways, way. yeah, with the batteries. Yeah, but, you know, uh, that's why I've stayed with the 6L 5,000s was because well, I got the, the Corsair flies on that, the Spitfire flies on that, the Carbon T-28 flies on the big 5000s. I mean, I just keep going. P3AR Jam 26. I fly mostly giant scale warbirds. I wish these EDF planes would get just a little bigger. They actually are just a little bit bigger now. Um, we were telling you earlier, and you might not have been in here, but we were flying the HSD Super Viper today. That's 105 millimeters. And they do make an F-16 also, but get ready to pay up. When you jump from 90 to 105, the price jumps immensely. Get to get you out. Get to get you out. You're going to pay two to three times the amount of a 90 or a 70 yeah. to get one. So Because they're just... And you're going to be flying with two batteries. Instead of one 6S, you're going to be flying with two 6S. Um, we did get about four minutes of flight out minutes. of the Viper about today, which was nice. Almost, but, but, you know, when you fly, you're flying. So, through. Pilot Ryan's saying 5,000 all day in the E-Flight F4. Man, I just put a 5,000 in there. It don't fit. Unless you go to carbon, maybe. What's your trick? All the way in. I thought you got it to fit the first time. I never got the hatch to close. Let me get the tray out. And may depends on the pack you're using, because uh, the RC Jetworks 5000s are smaller than this one. Some guys don't have that plane. So here we go. I got one in there. 5000. Make us a liar. Yep. Oh, but look at it. It's yeah, in it's there, but it's, it's poofing it up. And I wouldn't want that. It's hitting on stuff. It'll go in there, but I just wouldn't like that. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> well, I don't know. It wouldn't go in there a second. All right. It's an admiral because that brand's a doorstop. Right. Okay, there you go. Ha, 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 ha. Well, there you I go. I explained that with all of our good batteries. There's different doing. stuff for different folks. Not everybody flies admiral. Not every flies, you know. I'm not specific to anybody's battery brand, and I fly everybody. So, and I can tell you, if you fly HRBs, they are freaking big and they are not going to fit in this airplane. Now, the Admiral packs, if you have the money, Admiral makes phenomenal batteries and they are physically smaller than a lot of these other ones. So, if you yeah. got them, and I just grabbed whatever was on the shelf. Sorry I didn't grab an Admiral or a RC Jetworks or whoever else, but not everybody has those batteries. Oh, this is a 5200. I'm sorry. Somebody else called me out on that. You're right. That is a 5200. Well, here. Everybody always asks me about HRB batteries, too. I got them. Here you go. I got some. I fly them on the Warbird. But I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I've never had a problem with them. But HRB 5000, for you guys that were asking about it. I do have them. I will tell you, they don't like jets very no, much. No. They puff. <laughs> if you get them, if you really wreck them in a, a jet, I would tell you, if you're going to be a jet guy, Shell out the money and buy Admiral or RC Jetworks or Roaring Top. Get one of those three batteries. You're going to pay a little bit money, more money for them. But I learned from personal experience, these don't last if you're flying these. No. If you fly big Warbirds, the 6S Warbirds, these are great. But if you're going to fly jets, spend the money and buy a good battery. you got to go up on your C rating. I mean, just, just trust me on this. I know it seems weird to pay twenty or thirty dollars more. Everybody says a battery is a battery. It's not. No. Go get a good quality battery if you're going to fly jets. Now you got to. That's you got to. You, you can't chinch out on the jets. You got to get a good battery for your jets. Hey, if I'm wrong on anything ever, call me out, guys. There you go. Five thousand fits in there, no problem. I was wrong. Sorry. Fine, if you've got 6200s, I guess you need to get the <laughs> free wing. No, but 
if you've got to fly jets, you need to yeah. really put But there it is with 5,000 in it. I was wrong. In your, in your batteries. and uh, The box didn't say 5,000, did yep, it? Yep, it said four to 5,000. Oh, okay. Well. Yep, sure did. I'm not perfect. Good. Call me out. That's the whole deal. Tell me when I'm wrong. I'd rather be corrected than tell bad information. Kent, I regularly fly the 70 millimeter Viper on... Ooh, I don't think I'd say I'd fly a 5,000 in a 70 millimeter Viper. That sounds really heavy. Because I had that Viper and you were stuffing to get a 5,000 in there. Well, I mean... Plenty of folks have the HRVs. I run them to 4.8, or not 4.8, what is it? 3.8 a cell. I have not personally had the best of luck with HRVs. I still have them all, but in my jets, they haven't you know, held up great. No. Now, if you're running them back to back to back, I don't want to start a big battery battle no. here, guys, but no, I'm just telling you out of per no. personal experience that Admiral and RC Jetworks and Roaring Top batteries are the ones, are the to, ones to get, and they've jets. held up really well flying them back to back to back. Yep. They're a little bit more money, but you get what you pay for. And I have the HRV all you packs. Jet guys they're okay. Know that out there, what what you got, what you can do, and what you can't do. And they're okay. I'm not saying they're bad. I got ten of them. I, I fly them, but I'm just saying if I could have gone back and bought eight, but we wouldn't fly admirals, jets at the time. If I could go back and have bought eight admirals instead of buying ten HRVs, I'd have bought the eight admirals. Sure. I they just. I would have got. I would have been happier with. Well, we, the and the admiral time. packs are smaller, and right. so are the. We, you know, we started out flying. We wouldn't fly jets. We used flying those prop planes. I have yeah. some of the zippies too. They're not bad batteries. Mm -hmm. um, and then Turnigy, I've got. Some, I try them all, guys. I've, got I've tried Turnigy. the slew of them. If you look at my battery tray, I've got everything, and. They're all good. It's just, what are you doing? I'm just telling you the best. I've got the new... Kevin picked him up. The 2200. He's got the RC Jetworks. He's got the Roaring Top 70s. The 45s. And there, there's like three of them. And we actually ran them side by side in different airplanes just to see. Is there a difference? And there really is. You can see a bigger punch in those 70 C packs. I mean, the planes really fly out of it. And, they, and it's made me a believer. And you get a little more speed. We radared it. They don't get hot. They don't, yeah, they come down cool. They, they don't puff. They I'm don't a puff firm puff. believer nope. in the RC Jetworks batteries and the Roaring Top batteries. I agree. I really, really like them after actually having them and living with them. If you're flying but if you don't care and you want the cheapest thing out there, go buy HRB. They're going to last you too. As long as you take care of them, they'll last. That's all there is to it. But if you want the best, go pay for it. I don't know. You're flying a $500 plane. Yeah, What's 30 true. bucks more to buy a better battery? That's true. I agree. Just my it's honest true. opinion. If you got a $500 airplane, why are you buying? Why are you chinching out $30 mm -hmm. to buy a cheaper battery when you could buy? Instead of buying that, buying the, the, the best. Personal opinion. <laughs> I buy a boatload of Dollar General Alkalines. <laughs> <laughs> a boatload of Dollar General Alkalines. Uh, uh. Yeah, and, and like I said, I've got my HRB batteries, just to say. I've taken care of them. I fly them only to about 3.8. When I fly them, I don't take them down. Not to say it had never happened before on an oops and fly them down, but most of the time I fly to 3.8 is where I land at for storage charge. And I clean them up and, and I keep them storage charged and keep them they in last. Place. Right. Keep them don't, inside. Don't, I don't, don't keep, keep them in the garage. Don't out in the garage at 100 degrees. Right. Yeah, don't put them in the refrigerator. Just a, 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 a good a stable atmosphere that's Probably about 80 degrees would be perfect. Yeah. Anyway, that's oh, enough gonna, on the battery we're gonna, subject. We're, we're going to go back to the video in the can. And, and like Wesley says, we've got a lot of video. we got a lot of really neat stuff. we got but, RC Jet Dude. we got to film his Apache. I know a lot of guys have been wanting to see that. So we got a really good, high-quality video of his Apache flying. 
beautiful. That we'll thing is huge. Just kind of run down what we got. I mean, uh, we did that. We've got 23 foot B17 at the main line, 909 B17. We filmed that, and, and he and flew it, it with a Lancaster bomber that was that big. What size B17? Wasn't it like 23 feet? It was big. It wasn't 23 feet. You don't think so? It was 18 at least. It's big. It's, it's big. I'm sorry. It's huge. And it's, it's electric. It's electric. Both I guarantee electric. it. It's it's a solid. It's a solid, 18, 20 foot. It's big. It's two of me long. But, just, uh, but let's least. cut to the chat. Anyway, just we one, got. Just, I don't remember the just, video's coming, but we got two giant scale B17 Lancaster coming. We got. Stuart, I, mean, I mean, there was a. Uh, OB10. OB10, giant scale OB10 out there. Huge. He was, uh, you should have seen the battery pack he had. It was like. It was a 12C. No, 12. 12S. 12S monster brick thing that he brought out. It was oh, huge. Well, oh, man. We have a float plane. We flew float planes. We got a few uh, just random jets. Uh, 3D lines. Stuff. I mean, we got so much so stuff. What, just what we did today. Well, today we did the Marlins. We flew those we together. Did. We did the Viper. We flew. He got the new Flightline Corsair. We filmed that. But but the comparison between the yacht oh, we and did yaks. the two yaks. Yeah, I know you guys in the past have really enjoyed our comparison videos, so we did a comparison video. Yeah. So yeah, if, if, if I, I was going to say when when we get desperate is when you're going to see Papa painting a patch. <laughs> And our papa at the air museum, then you know we're in trouble. Dave Quishy, thanks. <laughs> thanks 909 Dave. shirt wanted. Working on it, Dave. Well, Miss Lori's trying to fix that right now. She's she's working on it. Miss Lori's been just swamped lately with the editing videos and the making patches and making shirts. And I don't know what we do without Miss Lori over there. I don't know if anybody. Lori, you can pop on Ninety-six inch. It was how big? Ninety-six. Ninety-six. Inch. 96 inch. So it's eight foot. Eight that was the OB-10, but the, the, the other ones were about twice as big as that. But uh, just not to drive this in the ground, guys, but last week we kind of told you that the Boozer artwork is going to be with Cali graphics. Well, so yeah, we're working on we're that We're working right on now. that. So, but like I say, Lori only has so many hours in a day. Because, so I mean, me and Lori off, both work full-time jobs still. And, so we're not uh, retired, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, but I, I'm looking forward to that. So It'll be neat. Be yeah. ha having that out there for you to buy. If you go to Cali and get the graphics, you can just put some pop up art. Pop up art on there. there you yeah. go. Some boo boos. You got the Mary Boozer logo in there on the file, all right? <laughs> just thought I'd let you know. I don't know why. And I can't, com I, I can't compete with Ryan on his. Uh, his, he's, he's taking Lori's time up too. Oh yeah, no, well, she's been working with Ryan here the last week. She's working on some new logos and stuff for him. But anyway, yeah, I that's mean, fine. It's, that's great. It's I cool. Mean, it's I'm glad fun. we've got a whole little We're family. We're all busy around here. Kevin so. Farrell's made it in. What do you think, Kevin? Uh, it's Kevin. done. Hey, uh, we only dropped it twice tonight, so you're good there. <laughs> we we went on ahead and put some dents on it for you, so you don't have to worry uh, about scratching it. You missed it, it where we named you an honorary boozer. Yeah. The second banana. The second banana. Kevin Farros is I'm in here. I'm the first banana. Crash Farros. Bless Mrs. Boozer. We love you. I'm going to try to get Kevin to sit in this chair one of these days just to have him sitting in here. Ain't happened. He's uh, told me he don't want to be in here. Okay. Pain but he also it. said he didn't want to be in the videos and he went out there and did it today. So yeah. hey, uh, we got him coming <laughs> it's on It's Kevin, the Boozer Sugar Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, right. I guarantee you. You hit it right <laughs> on the nose. Oh. Uh, uh, he can be sugar boozer. Sugar boozer. Sugar boozer. <laughs> yeah. Now nah, that's Crash. He's crash already boozer. got a name. Well, he can have both. Assistant to the second banana. The assistant to the second banana. No, he's assistant to, to the, the first, first banana. banana. That's I'm a banana. I'm the first banana. The stooge. Oh, oh man, good times, good times, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the unboxing of the E Flight F4 tonight. It went like that. I mean, the build that we've been sitting here talking for two hours, but the build 
I mean, we got it out of the box and put it together in about four seconds. Boop, done. Kevin, you're not the only one that's give out. I mean, we are We're all, both tired. We're all we're tired all of that. Pooped. We uh, We went to fly yesterday, had some more deals, and then we went to fly again today, and we were out there from... I got there at 11, you got there at 10, and we flew till about 4 o'clock. So, I mean, it was a good day of flying. Today. Well, it was... The only problem is it's still hot. It's still hot, hot in Florida, though. It's not in Florida, so... It's, it's better than being up to your eyeballs in snow, but uh, the, the problem is it just gets stinking hot. Yeah, that, in better news, we're in Florida, so we don't have to worry about snow. Sorry, everybody, put that knife in your back, because I know it's already snowing up in the northern yeah, it, part of the United States. It's snowing up there in the mid, Midwest. So if you're up there in the Midwest, I'm sorry. Come on down to Florida. It's beautiful. It's going to get great. I mean, yeah, it, we got another I mean, month we'll, or two. We'll, we'll get to where it's... Where it's 75, 80 degrees. We got about another there. month and it's going to be gorgeous, gorgeous out here. Out so but we're excited and that's when the, we get to really start filming. I mean, the, the you said it and Lori said it and I've noticed in our videos we have some of the prettiest clouds. Oh, yeah. The, the, I mean. the skies in Florida just make some of the best filming. That's why I left Florida and moved to North Carolina. Hey, it's still hot as hell in North Carolina. <laughs> I hate to tell you. South Carolina. Was <laughs> North Carolina, South Carolina, both of them get hot as hell in the summertime still. Ooh, I know you want to what? There. I know Kevin wants to see the gear. You want us to do the gear again? again? Gosh. I don't get to run them. We just want to see All right. Oh. Man, we'll do them one more time for you either way, Kevin. I, I knocked the wing off the Since first it's your airplane and all. Don't knock yeah. the wing this off time this when you time. pick it up, we haven't screwed everything together. It's all just kind of set. This is a big dent on the wing because I dropped it's it. It's a rental. It's somebody else's plane. Who cares, right? Yeah, I just worry in death. It's okay. Put a big dent in it. I don't own it. I don't have the battery strap, so hopefully if I put the hatch on, maybe it'll stay on. The lights are really bright. We've said that before. This thing is not plugged in. Look at the lights! Look at the lights! Ah! Too bad James isn't in here to laugh about that. Alright, there you go. Now there Here we go. One here we go. Time. One more time. Don't drop none of this. I'm not going to try to. I think I'm going to pick it up by this, this time. Here we go. There's all, all the right. lights. Here we go. Look at the lights! Ah! Uh, top view. There we go. No. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. So is that it? There's the gear. You can see. Up. Oh, I can't see what's going on. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. So you've got the landing light up here on the front. And whoop. There's that. Gear up on the back too. There you go. Did I miss everything? Yeah, let's go back a little bit so you can see the nose really good. So the other cool thing here is watch the landing lights on this. So it comes out and, and then, then boop, it turns it on. So, isn't that neat? Got and it. then you've got, like I said, the nav lights and everything else. So I mean it's cool. It, it, this is this is a you're gonna enjoy this one, Woo! brother. This one is a nice. Power. This is nice. So and then uh, flaps right there. I haven't slowed them down, but there's your flaps. Yeah. Hey, on. Yeah, full flying stab, and then, uh, yeah, anyway, there's your full flying stab. He's running it into me right now, but there you go. All right, cool. That's it. And not pulling up. Yeah, no, I'm not <laughs> don't trying. fall apart again. <laughs> it's, uh, I couldn't believe how fast we put it together. Yeah, though. I mean, this is. This so one cool. is an easy, easy put together. And, uh, Kevin, I'm going to take it home and I'm papa dotting this one. Well, you're going to put it together, too, then, because... Yeah, I'll to put it together. Anyway. I'm not putting There's it that, back in that stupid box, though. So. I'm just going to pull this out of there, too. But there it's it is, guys. Can't resist it. I the uh, E-Flight F4 in all its glory. Um, you got our little thing about how everything's going from us. We did fly the Viper, like I said. Lori's just got to get the video edited, and then we'll get that up. Um, yeah, the battery bay is nice and big on it. Um, at first, I couldn't get the battery to bay to close on the 5,000. Well, I had a 5,200 in it, and then everybody yelled at me. And now I found out it will fit a 5,000, so my bad on that. So you can put up to a 5,000 in it, Kevin, no problem. And you've got uh, smaller packs anyway. These are the cheaper HRBs. With those roaring tops, it's going to go in there, no problem. Papa Dot it. Yep. 
We'll show you and in all its glory. I got two of them to do. Wesley wants me to do a yak. One one thirty. Yeah, he's got my yak one thirty to take home and pop a dot up. But anyway, guys, I've had a lot of fun tonight. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the E Flight F four. Uh, be looking out for us to fly it soon enough. I hope you got a good view of it and we're able to see everything you want to know. Can a 6,000 milliamp fit in, and is this an 80? This is a, it this is, is an 80. 80 millimeter it is an 80, I, I think a 6,000 is going to be tight. It always says on the box, 4 to 5,000. Um, I have a 6,000, I just don't have it here right now. If it's a small I'll try one, it. I'm it's going to have to be small. Because that HRB 5,000 fills it, I mean, fills it up. Uh, I don't know if a 6 is going to fit in there. It says four to five thousand. Thirty plus. Snow. Don't say that word. Yeah, thirty. It says four to five thousand. Thirty C or above. Next show. What do you mean, Ryan? Next show, no and yes. What are you asking about? Uh, I would like to tell people what the next show is, but I don't know if it's going to be here yet or not. So. We've got something worked out with Pilot Ryan, and I hope that we can do it next weekend, but it depends if it gets here. You don't want a 6,000 in there. Yeah, I didn't think so. I think 5,000 is going to be the max, and the key to these jets is as light as you can make them, the better. So I even think this one with a 4,000 in it is going to be better than with a 5,000, but we'll see. I don't know yet. I just pulled it out of the box. I'm going to be honest with you. I got. I, I didn't know until I put a battery in it what fits in it. So I'm asking you and answering someone else. Okay. Sorry, Ryan, if I missed something. Maybe it's lost in translation. Anyway. Roaring Top 55. Uh, 6,000, yes. I'm hoping my big battery fits in the new E-Flight F-18. I hope that we get the E-Flight F-18 next week. That'd be a lot of fun to do that one next week, too. If it comes in, we'll probably do that one next week. Um, Pilot Ryan did a video on the L-39 with the, with the 6000 RC Jetworks. Yeah, we've flown... Uh, Kevin has four of those RC Jetworks 6000s, and, and that pack is a really nice pack. We flew the... Uh, uh, Viper with it today, with two of them at a time. He actually had those and a 2S RC Jetworks pack in it. Um, flies a little heavy with it. Anyway, guys, we've had a ball. I hope you've enjoyed everything. Um, you it's, know, it's 15 till 10. Okay, so uh, the... <laughs> Lori's like, I'm tired. Um, <laughs> Anyway, the, the, the E-Flight F4 looks awesome. I love the quality of it. I like the gear. Uh, I think we're going to really enjoy it because everything I've ever flown that has AS3X in it and has come from Horizon has flown great. So I don't see us having any it issues with e this. E-Flight, e you're pretty safe. It's going to fly good. So. It's going to fly well. Um, it would surprise me if it didn't, but there's always that surprise. There's always that surprise, but... <laughs> Uh, I think we're going to go on and get out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the show tonight, as always. Yeah, thanks for coming by and sharing Hopefully your Hopefully we were days. able to answer questions if you've been looking at getting at one of these. Hopefully you got to see some of the things to answer your questions about the airplane. Um, there will always be more cool stuff to come in the future. Be looking out. Like I said, we're going to do two videos a week now. Um, I think we're going to do Mondays and Fridays. Uh, and we're going to let it roll. So, anyway, I think we're going to get out of here. And hope you guys have a great week, and we hope to see you back next like time. Like and subscribe. If the good Lord women right. and the creek don't rise. I think that was an old saying. Yeah. We will be back next week. E-Flight F-18 will hold a 7,000 pack. Wow, that is impressive if it actually holds that. Um, but anyway, guys, we've had a ball. We love, we love hanging out with you every week, but we are tired. <laughs> We've had a long day today and a long weekend. <laughs> and our friends, hey, you know what? Real quick, before we leave, a big shout out to our friend Janet Stolkin. Uh, they just welcomed in a brand new baby this week. 
yesterday, and we want to say welcome to Clancy Stolkin, Fancy Clancy. He is Fancy officially Clancy. in the world now, and uh, Mom and, and Dad are both healthy, and we got the dog. We got the little puppy right now, but uh, big, big congratulations to our friends that are out there in TV land, maybe watching right now uh, on their new baby. I don't know where she is. But we want to say a big thank you to, uh, or big, big congrats to them for uh, their welcoming in their new baby Healthy into the world. Baby. So That's great. before we cut out tonight, I just wanted to say that. And uh, anyway, always fun. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I think the boozers are out. Like and subscribe. Buy all our merch. That kind of stuff. We'll see y'all later. We're having a ball, guys. We're living the dream. Five. Four. Tres, dos, uno, uh, nueve, bye, what is it? Adios. Hasta la vista, my bagels. My bagels. Hasta la vista, bagels. Muchachos, whatever. Bye. We're out of here.